The scene is just down the hill from the U.S. Southern Command headquarters at a transportation depot. Camera crew with U.S. troops there. As what was described by CBS News correspondent Richard Threlkeld at the time as, quote, one hell of a firefight. Martin, our Defense Department correspondent, is at the Pentagon and is viewing this film with it, with us. Uh, automatic weapons fire from the pro-Noriega forces and occasional mortar rounds at the transportation depot at the foot of the hill, just down from the U.S. Military Command headquarters there. You can hear aircraft overhead, but as has been pointed out before, there's always some reluctance to call in airstrikes because there is a fairly hot, a populated area right around this place. The transportation depot guarded by U.S. infantrymen. Dan, this is uh, Dave Martin watching this uh, videotape with you. As, as you watch it, if, if this is taking place at the foot of the hill from Quarry Heights, I mean, this is right next to uh, the uh, U.S. Command Center for all the forces in Panama, and you can begin to get an idea why the estimate is now that it's going to take five to ten days to regain control just of Panama City, if this is what's happening just on the outskirts of the major U.S. command post there. It's happening at the moment, uh, uh, an armored vehicle with automatic weapon at the top has been called in for support, as was a helicopter. Guys, you got wounded here. You got a lot of civilians wounded. And those look like uh, civilian wounded, and that's been one of the, uh, the questions that uh, we have been able to get the least satisfactory answers on from the, uh, the Pentagon, and that is the number of uh, civilian wounded. They say they just don't have a handle on it, uh, but obviously this is very graphic footage that uh, uh, civilians are being injured. Repeating, this is uh, a CBS News special report which contains footage taken a few hours ago of a loyalist Noriega force attack on a transportation center right at the foot of the hill down from the U.S. Command headquarters. That looked like someone carrying a child into a building here. It was a, an attack, automatic weapons, mortars, counterattack by U.S. soldiers on the ground with helicopter support. classic uh, guerrilla warfare attack in that the Noriega forces exercised fire and movement, fire a couple of mortar rounds, move the mortar very quickly, fire automatic weapons, move the automatic weapons quickly, partly to make it appear